Right, Fox, we've been telling you about this huge beef recall, the biggest in American history. It's going on right now. It's meat from a California slaughterhouse. Uh, apparently, cows there were slaughtered, even though they were unable to walk after passing inspection. And, and that's important because uh, they believe that, you know, if cows can't walk, they're at an increased risk for things like mad cow disease, uh, E. coli, uh, you know, salmonella, a brain-wasting disease, mad cow is, it can be transferred to people. So what about all these products? If you ate them and they date back two years ago, would you know already if you had some kind of an effect by it? Joining me is the author of The Checklist, Dr. Manny Alvarez, managing health editor of foxnewshealth.com as well. So, you know, it's been out there on the market for, for two years. They say doesn't seem to have hurt anybody. Would you know? Well, I mean, we, we don't know that yet. Look, the American meat system in this country is very safe. And it's safe because they have rules and regulations where specifically have said that if you have a cow that cannot walk, that cow cannot go to the slaughterhouse. It has to be inspected by vets in order to rule out mad cow disease, let's say. so. And that is because when, when, when they get too sick, they're laying around generally and they're it, near, in the fecal matter and all that. No, and, it can, and it, can, it can contaminate the, the right. entire the entire meat uh, right. product system. And you know, the incubation period for mad cow disease uh, in humans, you know, which is CJD, uh, it could take many years. So certainly this is something that has been in line already for a long time. Mm -hmm. These people did, it's just an illegal, illegal type yes. of service by doing this. Now the fear is that, uh, you know, can, can one or two cows may have had mad cow disease? I don't think we'll never know. I think it's very proper to recall the batch of meat that from this slaughterhouse Whatever's specifically. Left now, it's well, two, two years out there. Of, yeah, you know, two years. But this has been going on for a while. Uh, I wish that they would have, you know, they would have noticed this uh, way before anything like this happened. But now I think if you remove it, uh, you know, I, I don't think that the American consumer has anything to worry about okay, well, because the likelihood of of getting, you know, uh, this type of disease in humans is very rare. You know, here's here's what goes through my mind when you say that. Right. If the likelihood is so rare. Why are they recalling all the beef? Because well, you, you know? have to. I mean, you're talking about a very, very deadly and severe neurolog neurological diseases. There How? have been about 155 cases worldwide uh -huh. of CJD, uh, which is the the human counterpart of mad cow disease. And that's really the main concern. That's the from, main concern. From this thing. That is the main concern. And, and again, the provisos by the agricultural department have been huge. I mean, you can, they cannot use brain, uh, any spinal right. tissues, and any of the meats that 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 come out of any slaughterhouse in the if, U.S. If you ate some some of that stuff, how'd you know? You wouldn't know. I mean, as I said, you know, the likelihood is very, very, very small of human transmission. Uh, number two, the incubation period could take up, up to eight years, you know, if you got exposed. I mean, there, there was one case where a lady got exposed in Europe and then came back to this country and had the symptoms. But it, it takes a long time. But nonetheless, I think that the likelihood of getting sick is very, very, very small. Okay. Dr. Manny, what's on the website today? The website. We have a, a new video talking about how to exercise properly through a new technique. Technique uh, of dancing, you know. I'm going to try it out myself. See if I lose a few pounds. So that's what we have going, and uh, oh, you know, good. a lot of really good stories on the on the web. I, I will check that out myself. You got it. That sounds great. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Yes. Manny Alvarez. What does a convicted cop killer have to do with the fate of Drew Peterson's last two wives? He's been subpoenaed to testify at the Peterson grand jury, but how is he linked to the case? That's coming up.